This video is going to be about bottling beer. I've been a home brewer for probably about a year, and me and a buddy of mine have a uh, little home brew shop here. Uh, first thing I want to talk about is bottles. This is what I always use, tw regular 12 ounce bottle. Uh, these particular bottles have had beer in them before, but whether they're new or used, before you ever get a ready to bottle beer in them when you're getting ready to clean them. I, I run mine through a uh, sanitized cycle in a dishwasher. It runs for about, I don't know, an hour, hour and a half, and they're smoking hot when they come out. But before I ever put them in there, new or use, I look in it to make sure that there's no foreign material in the bottom of the bottle. Nothing nastier than getting something in your mouth when, you, when you're drinking beer. So once you get that done, you're ready to bottle. When I, when I first started bottling, I had a longer length of hose. I'd set the bottles on the floor and go from bottle to bottle and fill them up. And that, that works. It, but I started doing it this way, and I found it works really well, especially if you're bottling by yourself. I'd like to say I thought of it, but I didn't. I saw another guy who did it this way. Uh, I did shorten my spring spring tip bottle filler. I took a hacksaw and cut it off where it works well with a 12 ounce beer bottle. Also where the hose goes on the, the spigot here I use a little uh, automotive clamp because I don't want the hose to fall off and may lose a bunch of beer. But you just put it on there and fill it up and uh, two big advantages here only takes one hand and you can you can see the bottle filling up much easier than you can when it's down on the floor you don't have as many much overflow and stuff like that have my caps here and a little sanitizer I like to use different color caps on my beer so I'll know what kind of beer is in the bottle Clamp it on there like that, and you're ready to go. And it works, you know, works well with, uh, like I said, if you're bottling by yourself, just freeze you, freeze you up to, uh, freeze up this hand, and, and, you know, you're not knocking bottles over and stuff like that. So this is my uh, little unprofessional video on bottling beer. Thanks.